I thought to myself, she's going to do something someday. They knew her best. There were moments when we were alone together and we were just talking where I just felt like, okay, this, this is who she really is. Or thought they did. She said, F you when she left. And I said, well, F you too. See Madonna through their eyes with exclusive and rare images from her past. The high school film, the nude sketches, the rock band, and outtakes from her first movie role. This is Evolution, Madonna. Madonna was supposed to go home and babysit Mario on Friday nights. I would call the stepmother and say, all the cheerleaders have to be at these after-game dances and wear their uniforms. Well, you tell my mom she had to be here as part of the cheerleading requirement so she could be here to dance. It's true. Madonna was actually a great student school. She's always been driven to please her dad. She was in the top 10% of the range of intelligence. She was really active in a lot of school activities, both in the classroom and in the extracurricular, from helping to found the first chapter of the thespian group to cheerleader, big brother-sister program called Help a Kid, where she actually was a mentor for some of the elementary school children. She was able to get along with all kinds of kids, from the very serious student to the most artistic. She blended in. Most of the time, like every other kid, she wanted to blend. Madonna wore flesh-colored tights when she did some of her gymnastic flips and tumbles. It gave the illusion that perhaps nothing was there. We used to use a mini tramp. She hit the mini tramp and flipped up. It was more of an upset than basketball coach we had. He was just shocked. <laughs> the shocked look on his face. <laughs> we would watch our cheers more than coaches team at the time. We had a talent show during her 10th grade year of high school, and Madonna chose to dance. It was our first glimpse of her wearing uh, capris and showing a little midriff. And um, we were like, okay, what's going to happen now? What did happen was she was a phenomenally great dancer. Strutted her stuff, a little risque, but her dance quality in the art took over, and she was the hit of the talent assembly. She used to come in our office. We used to make her dance all the time for us. We'd put on music and went out and give us a little dance recital on the spot. I had to make a film for film class. I just refer to it as the egg film. I think I just said, do you want to be in a movie? And she said, sure. She didn't have a problem with it whatsoever. She just went ahead and did it and did a great job. It's not really about anything. It's pretty clear that even at that age, she was willing to do quite a bit in front of the camera, including eat a raw egg. She was babysitting at somebody's house. And so the film was actually made on the redwood deck, you know, off of the room while the baby was asleep. She was kind of withdrawn in certain ways, and then she was kind of social in certain ways. She kept to herself, but she was also a cheerleader, so she seemed to have almost like two sides to her personality. I don't think anybody could quite figure her out. She was a little bit of an, an enigma, and to me that, that made her all more interesting. We used to drive around in my 73 Capri, listening to my 8-track deck singing The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, which was her favorite album and my favorite album at that time. I remember loaning her Lady Chatterley's Lover, which, as I recall, she liked quite a bit. Maybe a sign of things to come. What I remember most clearly about her from high school was that she was a better dancer than anyone in our school by far. And when she would start dancing at a school dance, people would just back away and watch her because nobody had ever seen anyone dance quite like that. The thing I believe that set Madonna apart from many of the other talented kids in school is that she worked longer and harder at her dance. She was the student who got in a car, 
drove 25 miles to Detroit while other kids were maybe out goofing around. She was doing dance and practicing endless hours. I always thought she'd be a big dancer on Broadway with a major show. Christopher Flynn was Madonna's primary influence during her high school years. He was her dance teacher. This is a man who truly loved and cared and promoted her success. Story has it that Madonna used to go to some of the clubs in Detroit with Christopher Flynn, where she got exposed to a lot of different people, lifestyles, and got to see a variety of dance moves that were street. First time I saw Madonna, she was 16 years old. I was actually interviewing her ballet teacher to see if I wanted to bring him to the University of Michigan. So I went out to Rochester to his dance studio, and there were three students in the class, and Madonna was one of them. She was so beautiful and so lithe and so small, and her lines were gorgeous. I ended up hiring Christopher Flynn, who she adored. I guess the most memorable visit Madonna made to my office was during her senior year when she was applying for a dance scholarship at University of Michigan. I think Madonna chose University of Michigan and the School of Dance because Christopher Flynn was there, and he gave her great encouragement to follow along and basically sent the message to her, stay with me, I'll help mentor you, I will teach you. I think Madonna's been cultivating her unique image since the day she was born. She has a soul of an artist. It's like she was her own canvas and hyper, hyper aware of what people were seeing and feeling about her. Madonna, I think, was always trying to get a reaction out of people. Yeah, I just...